Welcome back to Excel 2010 for Beginners, brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. This is Lesson 10 of 12. If you landed on this lesson first, you can click on the link in the video window above to start back at the beginning. In Lesson 10, we're continuing with basic math. We'll learn how to add multiple cells together, how to take the average of a group of cells, and we'll learn about the order of operations in math. In the last lesson, we learned how to perform some basic math operations on our data. We only added numbers two at a time, however. Let's say you want to add more than just two numbers. Let's say we have a column of test grades, 90, 85, 70, 65, and 90 again. Now, if you want to quickly see the sum or average of those numbers, just select those cells. Select A1 through A5. And notice down here on the status bar, you can see the average, count, and sum of any numbers that you've selected. That's a neat little feature, but it doesn't store the value anywhere in our sheet. Now, how do you get that sum in your spreadsheet? Well, it's as simple as this. In cell A6, I'll type in equals. Remember, you have to start every formula with the equal sign. Equals A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5, and then press Enter. If you click on A6, you'll see the formula up here in the formula bar, and you'll also see the result here in cell A6. Now, here's a little shortcut if you don't like all that typing. I'll delete A6 with the delete key. And watch this. You can type in equals, and then just click on the cells. Click on A1, and then type in the plus. Click on A2, plus, click, plus, click, plus, click. That's a little faster than typing all that out. You can just click on the cell that you want to include into the formula. I'll press Enter and I get the same result. Now let's say, instead of adding all those numbers up, I want to calculate their average. How do you calculate an average? You add up all the values, and then you divide by the total number of values. So in this case, I'll add up A1 through A5, that's five values, then I'll divide by five. So I should be able to click on A6 and edit my formula. I've got the numbers added up here, and then come to the end and go divided by 5. All right, divided by 5 and press Enter. And hold on. 328 is definitely not the average of those five numbers. It should be somewhere in the middle of them. Take a look at the formula again, see if you can figure it out. I've added up A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5, and then divided by 5. What's the problem? Well, we forgot about the basic math order of operations. If you go back to high school, remember they taught you that exponentiation goes first, that's raising a number to a power, then comes multiplication and division, then finally comes addition and subtraction. And if you want to violate these rules, you have to use parentheses. So for an example, if you have a formula like this, 9 plus 5 times 2, the result equals 19, because 5 times 2 is evaluated first, that comes out to 10, and then 9 is added to that result. If you want the 9 plus 5 to be evaluated first, you have to enclose them inside of parentheses. Now the 9 plus 5 is evaluated first, that's 14, then multiplied by 2, and the result is 28. As you can see, there's a big difference when you include those parentheses. So in order to fix our math problem here in Excel, all I have to do is put parentheses around the addition problems first, then divide by 5. So I'll put an open parenthesis there and a closed parenthesis right there after the A5. Now when I press Enter, I get the correct value. And 80 looks like it's about the average of those five numbers. If you want to double check it, just select them. And Excel will tell you on the bottom down here in the status bar that, yes, that is indeed the average. What happened the first time with the original formula was that Excel followed the order of operations. It divided A5 by 5 first, 
and then it added the other values in. So Excel was just doing its job and following proper math rules. Now with the corrected formula, all five cells are added together first because they're inside parentheses, then that result is divided by five. This is the end of lesson 10. You can click on the link above in the video window to jump to lesson 11. Also, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when I release new free tutorials. For more information on my Excel courses, visit my website at 599cd.com slash xyt2010.